Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to go through some really simple stretches for your shoulders and for better posture. So all you'll need is a mat and a strap. So something that's not stretchy. If you don't have a yoga strap at home, you can use a belt or a scarf or a dressing gown belt or something. So make sure you've got that to hand. And we will get started in a child's pose. And bringing the hips all the way down to the heels, stretching the arms out long in front of you, resting the forehead on the floor. And we'll just start to deepen the breath. As you feel the length from the fingertips all the way to the tailbone. Allowing the spine to be in a nice restorative rest. And as you deepen the breath, start to feel the belly expanding on the inhale like a balloon. taking full abdominal breaths, feeling the back of the rib cage expand with every breath in. Now lifting the head up just to walk your hands all the way over to the left side, relax the head down on the floor. Try to keep the hips rooted onto the heels. If the hips don't quite reach here, you can bring a pillow in between for support or use a block too. Feel the opening in the right side body. And then walking the hands over to the right, feeling the length in the left. Noticing the left rib cage expand as you breathe. Taking one more breath here. And then back to center, meeting me in a tabletop, bringing wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, drawing the belly up and in, moving through a couple of cat cows, inhaling to arch and look up, exhaling, push the floor away and round, looking to the belly. Taking your own movement here with your own breath. Allowing your breath to guide the movement. Coming back to tabletop. Bringing the left hand down on the floor, inhale, reach the right fingers all the way up, expanding, looking up to the fingers. Exhale, threading it under and through, under the left arm as the right cheek comes down on the floor. Moving with the breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, threading it through. Inhale up. Exhale, thread it through, holding here now for three breaths and bring the left arm straight up ahead, up towards the sky and then wrap it all the way back as if you're trying to grab hold of the inner right thigh. Now, if you have really tight shoulders, then obviously this might not be available and that's fine, but just taking that wrap around to really open and feel the expansion in the left shoulder. And coming all the way back to tabletop. Left side, inhale, reaching the fingers up, look up towards the hand. Exhale, threading it through, left cheek to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale up. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale up. Exhale, thread it through, hold here. 
And once you've got comfortable and you've got balance and stability, bringing the right hand up towards the sky and then uh, right, wrapping it round towards the left inner thigh or the left outer thigh. And keep peeling that right shoulder open and back, finding space. Taking full deep breaths here. And then unraveling and coming back to your tabletop, sitting onto the heels. And this is when we're going to use our straps to do some nice shoulder rotations. So you want to bring the arms nice and wide. And we, the aim of this is we want to keep the arms straight and we want to keep the spine straight. So as we inhale, we lift the strap up. Exhale, send it all the way back and down. Now the aim here is we wanna keep those arms straight. So if they're bending to come back, then you need to open the arms more. And same goes if it's too easy to come back and forth, then maybe you need to bring the hands closer together. So find your limit with this. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale back. And try to make sure that you're not overarching in the lower spine and finding flexibility there. Often when we're tight in one space, our body will try to find flexibility somewhere else to compensate. So we want to try and keep the core engaged and everything in the spine nice and straight to get the full effects of this flow. So moving with your breath, just remembering inhale to come up, exhale to come down. And this is a really great one if you're doing uh, desk work or sitting a lot during the day or you just find yourself in a position where you're slouching a lot. And this is just a great way to reset at the end of a day. Let's do one more, wherever you are. Finishing at the back and then lifting the arms up so now they're nice and straight above you. And as you exhale, bring them over to the left side. And in order to do that, you, the top arm's going to bend and the bottom hand is going to pull it back behind your head to feel the opening in the right shoulder. Inhale up, exhale over to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale, moving side to side, keeping that stability in the core and in the spine. Moving with the breath. Let's do one more, each side. And up, and release the strap. Great work. Coming back onto your tabletop now and keeping the hips stacked over the knees, we're going to find a lovely heart opening pose, bringing the chest down to the floor and forehead down if you're new to this position. Now in this puppy pose, we want to keep the hips stacked over the knees. So you have two options here, depending on your existing flexibility. You can stay here on your head, or if you want more and you need to deepen, you can bring the chin down to the floor looking forward. And if you want even more, you can come onto the fingertips and lift the elbows off and make it nice and active. So finding your variation wherever that is today. Our bodies can also feel different each day. Taking some full breaths here. And then coming all the way back, pushing the floor away in a cat pose to counter stretch. And then back to a neutral tabletop. Now you're going to step that left foot in between the hands now finding a beautiful lunge with the back knee down. Now I know we're opening the shoulders here, which we're about to do, but it's always nice just to give the hips a bit of love too. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up towards the sky. 
lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the fingertips. And the right hand is going to come forward, left hand is going to come back. So you're looking back towards the hand and you kind of need to squeeze those inner thighs towards each other to keep you upright here. And keep opening back the left shoulder to find that full twist. Now, you have an option here to stay as you are, or you can just bring that back hand towards the leg and reach the right arm up and overhead. It depends what you want out of this practice. So please don't hurt yourself. Let go of the ego. It doesn't matter where you are. Maybe that's just staying here today. Whatever happens, we just want to find a nice twist and opening in the shoulders and a nice spinal twist too. And come back, lift the arms up. And then as you exhale, right hand is going to come down, left arm is going to come up and you can just walk the left foot out a little bit for stability to find a nice easy twist. And just keep looking up towards the hand as you again just feel that nice opening and that nice twist. Good. And bring it back down, come back to take a child's pose to rest in between. Taking a few breaths here. And then come back to tabletop. And this time we'll bring our right foot in between the hands in our low lunge. And when you're ready, lifting up through the inner thighs, lifting up through the fingertips, finding that full length before we twist. And then when you're ready on the next exhale, you're going to send the right arm back, left arm forward, and then switch your gaze to look back over towards the hand. Breathing here. And then having your option here to stay or to bring that hand down towards the leg or maybe a block if this is already in your practice. Sending the left arm up and back. This might feel too intense on the spine and that's perfectly okay and it's perfectly normal. If you're new to yoga, this might not feel good for everyone. Holding for one more breath. And then exhale, left arm comes down drawing that right foot slightly away from you and looking up towards the right hand in a nice easy twist. Breathing here. And exhale, bringing it down. And then you're going to, before stepping forward, we're not gonna come back into tabletop, we're gonna have a nice wide-legged kind of shoulder rinse out here. So lift up that back knee and then wherever, from, in whichever way is comfortable for you, meet me in a nice wide leg forward fold. Making sure that the outside of the feet is parallel to the edges of the mat. And then bringing the hands up and back behind you, interlacing the fingers. And then allowing them to come up and maybe over your head or maybe they're just hovering up towards the sky if you're particularly tight. But whatever you do, just try to relax the head and the neck. Relax the jaw, relax the breath. We're trying to aim for straight legs here, but if you need to keep a slight bend, that's also fine. Meeting your body wherever it's at today. Breathing here. And then exhale, bring the hands down to the mat and they should be just underneath the shoulders. And then keeping the left hand where it is, inhale, reach the right arm up, or the left arm, sorry, reach the left arm up, because I'm mirroring you. And if you need support here underneath the hand, you can place a block or some books or something to complete this stretch more effectively, but it's also okay if the knees are bending here. Exhale, left arm comes down, right arm, inhale up, Exhale down and we're just going to do this a couple of times moving with the breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, 
Exhale, good. And then meeting me back in a child's pose where we started. You can either take that wide-legged or if you want to allow the back to relax. And we're just going to finish this off with one of my favorite shoulder stretches. So from this child's pose, cupping the heels with your hands. And all you want to do is straighten the arms and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So you're kind of like a rounded rabbit. <laughs> and the more you kind of pull away from the heels, you'll feel the shoulder blades really drawing away from each other. And the top of the head is on the floor, not the forehead. Full breaths here. Always returning back to that deep abdominal breathing. And then bring the hips all the way down and just enjoy a child's pose for however long you need to close off this practice. And from me, I hope you enjoyed these quick shoulder stretches. Namaste, and I'll see you next time.